Kung sasabihin ko sa inyo na di nyo na kailangan ng time machine para maglakbay sa isang ancient country na makalaglag pa nga sa ganda. Isang lugar na mayaman sa kasaysayan at makukulay na tradisyon. May uh, pinangalan na New Seven Wonders of the World. The second new wonder of the world is Petra. As you can see, it, man. please. It's so pretty, it's so beautiful. Isang lugar kung saan matitikman ang pagkain na sinuunang paraan pa ang estilo ng paghahanda. Two... Hindi ko alam kung anong lasa niya, pero masarap lasa niya. Para sa pangatlong installment ng ating month-long Middle Eastern episodes, tonight we travel back in ancient times. Para sa isa, sa ating anniversary specials here in Jordan. Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? Sa layong 8,754 kilometers from Manila, 12 to 13 hours ang biyay sa eroplano kung pupunta kayo ng Aman, ang sentro ng Jordan. Mainam kong evening flight ang ibook nyo para itutulog nyo nalang sa eroplanong biyay. Sa Jordan, 93% ng mga Jordanians ay Muslim. 7% lang ang ibang reliyon. Kaya bihira ang mga lugar na may reference sa Biblia. Isa na rito ang bundok na to. Sa ng aming mini tour bus, una namin pinuntahan ang ancient historical landmark na to, ang Mount Nebo. Mula aman, aabot ng halos dalawang oras ang biyahe para marating ito. Pero ayon sa aming guide na si Fadi, dadaan kami sa mas mabilis na ruta. Wala pang isang oras, matutunto na namin ang bundok. Ito ang daan na tinaguri ang Pope Road. Tinawag na Pope Road ito dahil ang pumunta si St. Pope John Paul II sa Jordan, ito ang dinaanan niya para marating ang Mount Nebo. Wala pang 5 minutes sa aming paglalahad patungo sa tuktok, ipinakita sa akin ni Fadi ang tinaguriang Rolling Stone. So mga bihero, kung meron tayong uh, wooden door or glass door during the present time, ito yung uh, kanilang Rolling Stone or uh, this is a uh, An old type of door. You just have to roll, you push, and then you, you push it again from the other side to close your house or whatever. Same type of rolling stone uh, ginamit sa tomb ni Jesus Christ. Up here, mm -hmm. to leave Moses. At the end of his life, he stood on top of this mountain. God showed him the land of Canaan from the top, according to the Bible. So it's one of the very holy sites in Jordan. Kung akala niyo sa Israel lang may holy sites, dito sa Jordan, ito ang sikat sa mga Kristiyano. Pinaniniwalaan kasi ng mga Jordanians na dito sa tuktok ng Mount Nebo, inilibing si Moses. Pero kung saan eksakto sa bundok, wala raw may alam. 
At atanaw din dito mula sa Mount Nebo ang sinabi ng Diyos kay Moses na promised land ng mga Israelites. Truly breathtaking ang tanawin mula sa tutok. Di ganong kahirap ang lalakarin dahil maayos naman ang sementadong daan. Sa unang location pa lang, para na akong nag-time travel pa sa panahon ng mga Byzantine at ni Moses. Dito ngayon sa tuktok ng uh, Mount Nebu, no? And kilometers away from here, makikita natin yung capital ng Jordan, which is Amman. Doon rin tayo pupunta mamaya. Abangan sa ating biyahe rito sa Jordan. Ibang klaseng gandang lugar. Samahan mo pa ng isang masarap at makapigil hiningang kainan. We call it makloba, which we translate upside down. Yes, yes. Like that? Yeah. This is, wow. Tapos, may konting kulitan pa with the locals. Thank you. I will now call you Eric. Eric Buhangin. Equals, isang malupet na anniversary episode. Ano, sama kayo sa biyay ko? Mga kapuso, nakatanggap ng ilang report ang biyay ni Drew tungkol sa mga nagpapanggap na miyembro umano ng aming staff. Nais namin ipaalam na laging may kaukulang dokumento at ID ang aming staff at hindi sila naniningil ng anumang kabayaran sa mga lugar na ipinalalabas sa aming programa. Kapag may nais nice kayong report, tumawag lang sa mga numero na nakikita nyo ngayon o mag-message sa aming Facebook page. Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? Sa halagang 1 Jordanian dinar, or almost 65 pesos, malilibot yun na ang Mount Nebo. Kung pupunta kayo rito on your own, huwag mag-alala dahil may English-speaking tour guides around Mount Nebo who will show you around. Maganda lang ang tipar sa kanila mga bihero, whether Jordanian dinar or US dollars. Isa pang maaaring yung makita dito sa Tuktok na Mount Nebo, ang century-old art mosaics ng sinuunang Jordanians. How old? Marble floors, 6th century, century after Christ. This is all original. Lots of symbols and lots of... Uh, there's a huge one over there. Do they color the stones or it's yeah, actually... It's natural. natural it's most of them are natural stones. Some will be glazed, but it's main, main, mainly uh, nat natural colors. Lots of symbols. Many of them, they have theological meanings. Mm. Others will be from the environment that they live, like a hunting scenes. Sometimes you the shepherds, the uh, farmers, the shepherds, uh, and all kinds of animals and birds, as you can see here. And all the mosaics will have inscriptions. This is the art of the Byzantine period, which refers to the Christian period of Jordan. 26 kilometers pa baba ng Mount Nebo, dumating kami sa Madaba, isang bayan sa Jordan. Bagamat moderno na rin kung tutuusin, pinagpapatuloy ng Jordan ang sinuunang pamahalaan ng monarchy. Pero dahil may prime minister sila na inihahalal, tinatawag ang kanilang pamahalaan na constitutional monarchy kung saan magkahati sa kapangyarihan ang hari at ang prime minister. Pero may mga naiwan pa mga tradisyon at artworks ang mga naunang monarch ng Jordan mula pa noong 6 AD. 
kagaya ng mga mosaic art pieces na to na nagmula pa sa Byzantine period. They are doing copies of this. Uh, this is original, but we're gonna show you later on how they make the copies nice, of these nice. and the modern artwork. Okay. Tradisyonal ang estilo ng paggawa ng may halo modern art. Ito na ang itsura ng kanilang mosaic art. Ito ang national art ng mga Jordanian. Mula pa noong Byzantine period, nagsimula ang paggawa ng mosaic art mula sa iba't ibang natural stones o tiles. Sa tindahang ito, bukod sa nagtitinda sila ng iba't ibang mosaic art pieces, nagtuturo rin sila kung paano ito ginagawa. Passing on the tradition, ika nga. So, so would you like to try it? Sure. Okay. Okay, so this one? This will be difficult. We call it microstone. Microstone. First step? ang pagputol sa bato sa tamang hugis at pagdidikit nito sa ibang mga bato. Hindi basta-basta ang pagdikit sa canvas o tela dahil kailangan ng chani para ipuesto ang maliliit na batong ito. Kita nyo naman ang detalye ng ginagawa ng babaeng ito. Oh. And then how many years? Depends on the size of the stone. Each time the size is smaller, the times will be bigger. Minimum from one month to two and a half months. Hirap ka, Chow. Thank you. Let me guess your name. Your name is Sharon. Sharon Stone. No? No, I guess not. Isipin nyo kung gaano nila pinag-uukula ng panahon ang mosaic arts na to. Hindi biro. Kaya ang presyo ng 100% handcrafted art pieces na to, umaabot mula 100 hanggang 1,000 Jordanian dinar o higit pa. Sa palitang halos 65 pesos kada isang Jordan dinar, aabot ng 65,000 pesos ang isang simple Jordanian music art. Isa pang popular folk art ang painted ostrich eggs, gaya nito. And in the end result, we have something like this. You can hold it. This one is take minimum from 78 hours to 125 hours. Time working. The price is static from 250 up to 600 GD. So, ang ginagawa nila kung kuha sila ng ostrich egg, tapos same style ang ginagawa nila dun sa mosaic art na ginagawa nila gamit ang tela. Pero ito, syempre mas intricate dahil mas small or mas fine or mas detailed yung kanilang artwork at ito yung magiging end product nila. Such a hit. Hit log. No? I'll put it back. Sobrang exciting to. <laughs> Up ahead! Finally, mapapasyalan ko na ang isa sa seven new wonders of the world. The Rose City. Petra. Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? Mga kapuso, nakatanggap ng ilang report ang biyay ni Drew tungkol sa mga nagpapanggap na miyembro umano ng aming staff. Nais naming ipaalam na laging may kaukulang dokumento at ID ang aming staff at hindi sila naniningil ng anumang kabayaran sa mga lugar na ipinalalabas sa aming programa. Kapag may nais kayong report, tumawag lang sa mga numero na nakikita nyo ngayon o mag-message sa aming Facebook page. Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? From the fine Jordanian mosaic art pieces, samot sari din na makikita niyo yung pasalubong sa mga tindahan sa sentro ng Madaba. May mga carpet at iba't ibang items dito na mula sa mga Bedouin o yung mga local na tribo na matatagpuan sa ilang bahagi ng Israel at Jordan. Bago mag-shopping, kailangan ko raw muna ma-experience ang isang traditional Jordanian lunch. Sa labas, akalain mo lang na simpleng bahay ito, pero pagpasok mo, house turned resto pala. Family-owned ang restaurant ito. Ang nanay ang magluluto, ang tatay ang entertainer, at ang kanilang mga anak naman ang servers. Kaya at home na at home ang feeling mo sa kainang ito. Food is already served. Starters. Starters only. Starters only. Looks delicious. 
Here what we have of Jordanian dishes, uh, things which are prepared at home. Normally we prepare them in this restaurant. When we entered the, your restaurant, yeah. we thought it was just a, an old house. It was very unassuming. And then when we went upstairs and went down uh -huh. here, like, ooh, looks very cozy, very homey. Well, it is a house. Yeah. It's a three generations house mm -hmm. that my wife inherited. And then we restored as a restaurant. Mm -hmm. First generation, which is something like 100 years ago. Second generation, about 60 years ago. And now we have the third generation out of that. So we can accommodate in the three generations something like 200 people. Exactly what they do now, okay. this one. If you wanna look at the Jordanian food. Yeah. So this one is a mix of bread. Now we don't uh, get rid of the extra bread. The extra bread, we keep it. Okay, if you don't eat this, we fry it and we add on top of it olive oil and za'atar or thyme. Okay, and then we put yogurt and tahini on top with aubergine. Now, that's the popular hummus. Jordanians are very good in recycling. So, supposedly we, we have like big aubergines and big zucchinis and so on and tomatoes, which are not good for this dish. So we call them tajin. We cook them together. So they have a lovely taste and Arabic salad. Sa salitang Jordanian, Mesa ang tawag nila sa appetizers or starters. Try a bit of everything and then remember those are starters. So half tummy. Okay, para sa mga bihero na okay, para lang ma-explain ko sa inyo na mabuti. Yung pita, kapag hindi nila naubos, i-deep fry nila. Okay? Tapos nun, ito na yung deep fried, no? Siyempre, naglagay na sila ng different uh, toppings or herbs, no? But then, Sa pang concoction ay maglalagay sila ng... Is this... Is it yogurt? Is it yogurt? It's yogurt, yogurt and tahini. And tahini. Topping. There you yeah. go. So, yung texture niyan ay yung very refreshing uh, feeling uh, ng tahini and yogurt. Tapos nun yung texture ng fried bread na sobrang crunchy. Kaya perfect combination. You totally understood what I said, right? Definitely. Well, I try. <laughs> well, I, I try from your physical uh, mm. appearance that you are lucky. I like it. Being here, happy. <laughs> very different. happy. Very happy. Very good. Now, I want you to try this. Mm -hmm. Just take one of that, okay? okay? Uh -huh. Cut it into two pieces and dip it in this. I mean, like that. Like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good as well. First time for me to try za'atar. So it's a very healthy diet. You will not find like quite fat men or women in the street because always there is a balance in our food. Leave some space for the main dish. Huh? And now, presenting our main entree, ang makluba. This is the main dish, which is a mix of rices, uh, rice and spices, and chicken and vegetables. Prepared by the chef, my wife, Ferial. Very beautiful. She's beautiful, she's professional, okay? And very healthy lady. <laughs> so, we call it makluba, which we translate upside down. One, two... This is, wow. This is one cup of rice. You got everything in this dish, mga bihero. May gulay, may manok, and of course, may kanin. Makluba, love ya. Kumbaga, paella. Kompletos regados, kasi syempre meron ka ng protein, manok. Meron kang gulay, meron kang grains. Syempre, ang kukunin ko yung pinakamalasa. You put it on the side, huh? Yeah, one more, yes. <laughs> In Arabic we say sahatin. Oh, bon appetit. Sahatin. 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 Yes. Sahatin. Yeah. Sahatin. Sahatin. Sahatin to. Teray na natin to. Manok. Yogurt. Good. 
Siyempre, hindi siya lasang paella, lasa siyang... Hindi ko alam kung anong lasa niya, pero masalap lasa niya. Excited na excited na ako umuwi. At research online kung paano nila ginagawa yung mga ino-offer nila. Or sinaserve nila. Going back to this dish, Ang sarap ng pagkaluto ng kanin dahil malagkit. Well, actually, dahil kanin din dahil naminis ko na yung Pilipinas. Kaya pa, di ba? Alam mo naman yun eh. Pumunta ka sa ibang bansa. First few days, sige, kainin mo yung local food nila. Big nilang pagdating pang limang araw, talagang pain ng kanin. Pain ng adobo. Maybe the closest. Dahil malasa yung kanin. Panalo, malabot yung manok. At least, meron tayong yogurt, which is very, very new addition to the cuisine that we, we love. I guess it becomes Mediterranean dahil nga because of the yogurt sa side. Kanta? Matapos matikman ang napakasarap at malasang Jordanian food, pupunta na tayo sa pinakapambato ng bansang ito. Halos apat na oras ang land travel patungo sa Petra. Nasa mataas na parte na kasi ito ng Jordan. Kahit pa mahaba ang biyahe, huwag mag-alala dahil may mga buffet stopover din kung saan kita na sa malayo ang view ng kabundukan ng Petra. Pero syempre, nothing beats setting foot in the beautiful Rose City. Alright, finally mga biyero, uh, after a three and a half hour bus ride from Amman, which is the capital of Jordan, nakarating na rin tayo dito sa Petra. Ito na yung simula ng biyahe natin dito sa uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Excited na ako. Ito pa lang eh, sulit na yung biyahe nyo. May kalakihan kasi ang buong lugar kung saan nakatayo ang Petra. A total of 264,000 square meters ang laki ng buong archaeological park na to. Bukas mula 9am hanggang 6pm ang park. I suggest mga biyero na dumating kayo ng maaga para maiwasan ang matalas na sikat ng araw sa tanghali. Mga biyero, pagpasok niyo sa main entrance ng Petra, Pwede naman kayo maglakad mga 5 to 10 minutes away before you reach the SIG, no? Yun yung maliit na opening. Pero kung gusto nyo namang maka-experience ng kakaiba, pwede kayong sumakay ng mule, ng donkey, or even camel. Pero bakit? Mas maganda sumakay ng petrang kabayo. <laughs> yeah! Anytime. Anytime. Maglalakad na lang ako. Wala pa man sa mismong lagusan na kung tawagin na ay sik. Ay makikita na kayong sinaunang formation ng mga naging tirahan ng mga unang residente dito. Wala pa raw kasi 6th century BC, may mga tumira na rito. Ang sik ay isang gorge o lagusan sa gitna ng dalawang bundok papasok sa mismong syudad ng Petra. Ayon sa mga scientist at archaeologist, ang mismong pagkakahati ng buntot na to ay kamanghamangha rin. Sa so, mga bihero, kakapasok lang natin ang tinatawag nilang The Sig. S-I-Q. Isa siyang 2-kilometer uh, gorge uh, carved from itong surrounding sandstone na nakikita nyo. Napakaganda. And what's so interesting is that, of course, this is the main gorge or main walkway towards Petra. Um, but pag nakikita nyo sa side, you see water channels. Okay? Yung water channels na yan, <laughs> dyan dumadaan yung tubig from the springs para meron silang tubig dun sa Petra. Ahalam nyo ba? <laughs> Bang show na yan. Pero ahalam nyo ba? na 
may uh, pinangalan na New Seven Wonders of the World and the second new wonder of the world is Petra. As you can see, I mean, geez, it's so pretty, it's so beautiful, and then you know the the country of Jordan is definitely doing their best to maintain it. It's beautiful. Kahit saan ibaling ang tingin, Instagram worthy ang view mga biyahero. Stig talaga tong water channel, no? Galing eh. <laughs> Sa mga hindi kaya ang malalayong lakaran, maaaring sumakay sa mga kalesa at kabayo patungo sa loob ng Petra. Maganda lang ng 20 JD o Jordanian Dinar para sa kalesa at 10 JD naman para sa kabayo o camel. Nakita niyo pa ang mga naiwang mountain carvings ng mga sinuunong tao na tumunod dito. Pero kung ako inyong tatanungin, syempre mas kumpleto ang experience kung kayong maglalakad mula sik hanggang sa pinaka-highlight ng tour, ang treasury. So after 1.2 kilometers walking sa sik, which is the gorge nga leading to Petra, ito na yung first big moment natin. Yon, finally mga binero, nandito na tayo sa uh, sinasabi nilang pinakamagandang facade dito sa Petra. No? It's, uh, it's called the Treasury. It's such a gigantic, 40 meters high. At... Mukhang familiar ba sa inyo ang Treasury? Malamang nakita nyo na ito sa ilang Hollywood film. But then again, it's crowned uh, there sa taas with a fern and apparently uh, Sabi ng mga locals dito na back in the day, uh, dyan daw uh, iniwan ni Pharaoh yung treasure. Kaya tinawag niya treasure. Maniniwala ba kayo na inukit lamang mula sa bato ang pinakakilalang landmark ng Petra? Tunay na man-made wonder. sa pictures, maaari ka rin mag-uwi ng buhangin mula sa Petra. Ito ang sikat na Petra Sand Art Bottles. Hello, how are you my Hello. friend? How are you? Uh, how are you? Very good, very nice good. So, what are you doing here? Uh, what I do, I make the, the sand, you know. I make a different design by the sand. First, I put a different color, and after I mix it... Where do you get the sand? The sand, we from the mountain, you know, we bring the stone, right. for example, like this one here. Wow. So this is all natural color? Yeah, this oh. all this is it's a sand stone. You know? right. Some of them, we mix a different uh, color, color to get one color. Gotcha. Yeah. And I make now a little hole, and I put a black sand to make the camel, you know? Right. Put the black sand. I make now the shape of the camel. Okay. The tail. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. I make the ham and the neck to make it more clean. Right. Nice looking camel. Yeah. And after you know when I finish it, I press it very well okay. and I uh, glue it from the top. You see how? It's very nice. Yeah. And even also you can. Write a name inside it. Parang di biro ang trabaho ito ni Kuya. We are the first people in all the world who do this art, by the way. Can I try? And, yes, of course. First, you have to make relax, okay? <laughs> okay? It's like I'm making a special potion. Yes. Like a magic. Magic. Uh -huh. 
Oh, but I cut that. <laughs> okay, should okay. I put more? White. White, white. Pulverong. Cumin. Okay. This one? This one? Any? Any one. Any. 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 Okay. Kadabra. Okay. Okay. You put the black sand. You move it up a little bit, you know? Uh-huh. Okay? If the sand doesn't go out, you just move it like this. Like that. Okay? okay. And now, okay, now you start to make the shape of the camel. Yes. Yes. It's like a black cat, not a camel. Uh-huh. Maybe a dinosaur. Maybe a dinosaur. <laughs> now, okay. It's a fat snake. I think it's a snake. <laughs> okay. okay. Now you use this one. To make the look of the camera. Oh yes, push it down, down, down. Yes. Okay. And make the hand now. One. Okay. 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 Now, okay, you it's a, anyhow, anyhow. It's a velociraptor. It's a pregnant brontosaurus. Yeah, yeah. Twins. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> now you put more sand. More sand. Okay. Any color. Any color. Any color. White. Okay, why, 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 why? Yeah. Okay. But why we put white? Because you know the camel by the black with the white he can very shine, you know, very right, clean. Right, yeah. Right. This is why all always we put white sand, you know. Now we do the, the neck. Ah the neck, the neck. How I make it, you know? Okay. Look, look. Wow, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Uh -huh. Look what I do now. I can make a decoration. Fantastic. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I put a little white. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, black, a black. little black. Okay, black. Okay. Are you Picasso? What's your name, Picasso? My name is Atala, you know. I thought Pablo. I am brother of Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> the same family, huh? The same family. Same, same but different. <laughs> Now this is your camel and this is your battle as a present from Petra for you. Siyempre mas maganda kapag kayo yung gagawa mismo, no? Pero kapag sabihin natin gusto nyo lang ng, ng pasalubong, or gusto nyo kumuha lang, bumili lang ng ready-made na, pwede rin naman. It actually ranges from 200 pesos and up. It really depends on the design. Ah, uh, eto, this is priceless. Susunod! Huling arriba na natin dito sa Petra. Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? Ano? Sama kayo sa biyay ko? We are on the last leg of our historical tour. It's a napakaganda. Makasaysayan. At makulay na bansa ng Jordan. Kanina, manghang-mangha kami sa ganda ng archaeological landmark na Petra. Just imagine, Viejeros, kung gaano nakatagal ang mga mountain formations na to. Gawa pa yan ng mga unang inhabitants dito, ang mga Nabatians. Ang mga nakaukit sa treasury ay mga mensaheng nagbibigay po guys sa Egyptian gods. Kita rin ang iba't ibang fasad ng sinaunang city walls at kalsada rito. Diba, sobrang fascinating yung uh, pinakita sa atin ng sand artist kung saan nila nakukuha yung iba't ibang klaseng kulay ng sand. 
Um, well, dito nila kinukuha yun apparently. Um, because after all, Petra is like one huge sandstone. Uh, and this part, makikita talaga natin yung, you know, the color vari- variations. No? You have like your light blue, tapos yung nagiging dark blue. You have your uh, red, tapos nagiging purple. And then you also have your parang turmeric na kulay, parang mustardy, you know. Ito yung uh, itsura ng kanilang tombs. Uh, Nabatians, sila yung gumawa ng Petra. At kung makikita nyo, pagpasok nyo sa loob, may sarili silang ano, space. No? Diyan nila nililibing yung mga mahal nila sa buhay. Bukod sa mga libingan, mabibihita rin ang 1,000-year-old na amphitheater na to. Kasha raw dito ang 3,000 tao noon. Wow, you can just imagine, way, way back, may mga ganito na pala. Sobrang astig. Pero di pa raw dyan, nagtatapos ang pwedeng magawa sa marvelous location na Petra. Maari rin akitin ang tuktok nito. Make sure na may kasama kayong guide sa pagkakyat mga bihero dahil wala kayong mapagtatanungan at di ganun kadali ang mga trail. Big. Okay, from the main walkway, pagpasok mo ng uh, Petra, akitin mo lang mga 1.5 kilometers. It's gonna take you 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, and then you'll, you'll reach this place, this mountain plateau. It's beautiful. It's called the high place of sacrifice, worship, and then from this place, kahit pa paano, makikita mo na yung ancient city down below eh. Makikita mo, marami na mga opening. I'm sure yun yung mga bahay ng mga tao nakatira dito dati. And it's just... Okay, the 20 to 30 minute walk is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. This is the ancient city, and that is the modern Petra. Truly magnificent. Akalain yung sa tuktok ng bundok na to pa ako'y makakakilala ng isang Bedouin. What's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Andrew. You're welcome. How old are you? Me, 16. 16? Yeah. And you're a Bedouin? Yeah, we are Bedouin. We live in the cave. You live in the cave? Yeah. Wow. Until now, 25 people live in the cave. Really? Yeah, really, behind this mountain. So you were born here? Yeah, we were born here. Here or there? No, no not there. We were born over there, the ah, village. Over there. Yeah, we live there. Well, at least it's a modern village. Yeah, yeah. And some in the cave. Bedouin is an ethnic tribe that is a nomad. They don't have permanent 
Kadalasan, matatagpuan sila sa Middle Eastern countries gaya ng Jordan at Israel. Ang kariwang ikinabubuhay nila ay pagtatanim at pagpapastol ng mga hayop. Dito, isang pibileyo ang maging dugong, bedwin, dahil hindi sila kailangan magbayad ng buwis sa gobyerno. Ang iba sa kanila sa mga bundok na ninirahan at lumilipat lamang ng tirahan kung kailangan. Gaya ni Muhammad, na ang pamilya ay naninirahan sa mga kweba ng Petra. People still live here within the ancient city or not anymore? No, no. You know, we, uh, people who live here, some people who live here, some in the house. Mm. Not a lot of people in Petra. Like 35 family old. 35 family. They live here until now. our third anniversary episode. Sa aking pagbiyay sa Jordan, naging malinaw sa akin kung paano nila pinangangalagaan ang kanilang kultura. Lumalabas ito sa makulay nilang sining at sa lasa ng kanilang pagkain. Samahan mo pa ng mainit na pagtanggap. Kaya gaya ng mga nakaukit sa kanilang mga bundok, ang pagtanggap nila sa amin, tunay na tumatak sa aming puso. See you next week, Beros! When we bring that home, it's gonna be a hit. Uh, Hitlog. Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's a beast. Pwede kayong sumakay ng camel, pwede kayong sumakay ng donkey. Pero, pag-iisipin nyo, Ang pangit naman kapag sinayin mo Petra Donkey or Petra uh, Camel. Panalo pa rin ang Petra Kabayo. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Petra Kabayo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, man. Enjoy your day. Thank you. I will Thank now you. call you Eric. Eric Buhangin. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Enjoy you. your day. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So ito yung downtown Amman. Amman is the capital of Jordan at makikita naman natin para siyang session road. <laughs> I like a sight.